start start to the year. I just thought I'd reminisce about um, where my book collection started from. Obviously for the uh, for carp fishing, um, I'll only skip for a few. I'll start at one at the beginning, middle and end sort of thing, and leave the bits out in between. Uh, there's just too many books. The ones I'm going to miss out will probably be like chili, that sort of thing. Um, you know, in in. Um, uh, Terry Hanna, of course, um, but to name but to name a few. But we start off. Wasn't actually a book that I bought. It was a book that my my father bought when he he was very still carp fishes, but very he was very seriously into carp fishing. First started, and this 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 was back in the beginning. This was in uh, 1980, and it'd be a book that um, we all know. It'd be uh, Kevin Maddox, Carp Fever, and now this book. Uh, it's been read a few times. It, to be fair, it has seen better days. But it was it was one of the original books that uh, that my dad got, and and I, I basically stole it off of him, and I, I've 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 kept it ever since. Of course, uh, of course, he can have it back if ever he wanted it. But uh, this this was at the very start, the pioneer of it all. It was, it was Kevin Maddox, and um, it's at the very start, um, of basically the start of the herring. The hair rig, so you you had the hair rig through here, Kevin Maddox, uh, and, and it's a story going through from 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 the bolt rig, from the bolt rig, to where he was side hooking the baits, um, through to, to to the alarms, uh, and then sort of like attaching the 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 swivel, if you like, um, with a, with a clip back then, with a clip, uh, and then pushed in in into the into the into the rubber sleeve then. So that was the forerunner to the, the safety clips that we know now, and this this is going back to 1980, um, and, and it's just amazing. It's just just amazing everything in there from from Johnson's um, to uh, uh, school pool uh, and an article on baits and, and things like that. So that was pioneering stuff. I mean, back then it was a brace in the early 80s. In January, uh, a photograph in two fish that are 26 pound and 25 pound, um, and two other commons that weighed 30 and 21. And this was back in, you know, 1983. And this is this is what I started reading, and this is what that's what I grew up with my my father. So that that was brilliant. That was I really like that. Like, that's that's one of my favourite books. I know it's probably one of the oldest, and obviously not by today's standard, but Back then, that, that that was a great book. Followed by um, Guide Guide to Cart Waters. Now we had this as a, as I say, this was with my father, um, and we'd go and fish a few of these lakes on here as day ticket waters. And I do remember one time we fished a lake. Um, it was it was Chillum. It was in Chillum. It wasn't Chillum Mill as, as everybody knows. Chillum Mill that used to be the syndicate, etc. But it was uh, Chillum Castle, I believe it was, and we believed that we could fish there on this day ticket that we we purchased. We'd gone through the book and purchased it, but in fact, it was a lake that was was further up the road. But we had a good day's fishing, and we was told you you can fish fish the rest of the day, but um, obviously this is not the right lake. So so. Uh, much fun going through this book as I say that that, that was um, a start to fish in different waters um, and then we skipped a few bits in between um, and then where we ended up in between all that um, and this was another good read um, and, and again Jim Jim Davison I have I've met a couple of times but I, I never got him to autograph the book very funny guy very um, supports help help the um, um, help the heroes, you know the, um, the heroes and that for all the war times and things, and he's a great ambassador for that. Help the heroes, you know, um, and and um, Jim's book's very funny. And I remember sort of, you know, coming forward a few more years, and and this was the sort of book that I was reading, and it's still a great read and it's very very funny. Even even to this day, very funny book that I would definitely recommend. Um, buying that and, and and reading through that so that that was good um a lot of these books that i, I used to get for christmas times you know growing up didn't have a lot of money sort of thing like, like you do nowadays if you want a book you go you go and buy it but uh, it was christmas presents that sort of thing like this it was another christmas present carper's dozen 
game catches from from all all the well known anglers. Where to start? It's just just flicking through there. You've got you've got you've got everybody, including Frank Frank Warwick there, which which is 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 another great storyteller, Frank Warwick. Um, going through, you've you've got you've got loads loads of good reading there. As I say, that was another book that we we got. As I say, the ones I haven't included was in the middle. Terry Hearn, they were good reads, and uh, again part of my collection. Um, oh. There's a lot. There's lots, but anyway, and then we stick, skip a few years forward, and then we we go to um, this this guy, Tony Davis Patrick. Now, probably a lot of you will remember uh, this this guy Tony for his adventures in um, in Cart World um, as a young lad reading all the Cart Worlds and still reading Cart Worlds, but um, he would tell his stories, be it in America or Germany or wherever he, wherever parts of the world he took him, and and he still goes off to new exotic places for carp fishing. Um, fantastic read, fantastic read. Um, as I say, love still love reading his work and see because he's a professional photographer as well. Seeing all these beautiful, beautiful pictures, you know, it's obviously hard for me to show you these, but. It, you know these, these 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 photos that he had of these these uncaught carp from from all around the world, and then you know stuff that actually happened to him to, to him along the way. You know that was fantastic. You know this is what dreams are made of, isn't it? You know you you go and fish fish these sort of places once in once in a lifetime, um, and then beginning the beginning of the year. This is why I've, I've chosen this book. It's every bit of blue. I'm not, not you know, pushing it for Frank or anything like that. But Frank's a lovely guy, and this book's well worth a read. Great character, and he certainly knows his stuff. And I was looking forward to going to another one of his road shows, uh, where anybody can go along and listen to what Frank's got to say, ask him questions, and that was a brilliant night. As I say, that was back in the beginning of the year. Um, and that was a lovely evening with with Frank and like likewise you know like minded fishing characters if you like so that that was great um my life as a carp angler you know so that was good stuff and I actually got this one signed from Frank so anyway, it was back on the twenty fifth of of february um there's a few more books that I'd like to buy, which I shall treat myself to uh this year, which I will do um uh, and again, uh, it was just just because it was beginning of the year, and I was going th going through all my fishing stuff, um, my little um, memories of 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 thirty five, forty years of of fishing. Because obviously I'm early forties now, but I, I remember fishing back from like uh, cool rice. As I say, that that. Um, uh, carp fever was well, I'd be 35, 36 years old, and uh, I remember carp fishing back then. So I'd only be about eight when I first started fishing. But you know, memories of carp fishing would be about eight. Obviously, before that was tench fishing, that kind of thing. Um, and then it just grew from there. So as soon as you know, 12, that sort of thing, you was off on your own carp fishing and glass fibre carp rods, that, so that kind of thing, and uh, the old Mitchell 300s and, and, and moving forward from there. So yeah, happy times, happy memories. I just wondered if you guys would leave a mention which was your favourite book, um, but past or present times, um, one you'd recommend for, for, for me to have a look at, and ones which you enjoyed reading, um, just to give the reasons and, and why you would recommend that. Um, yeah, look forward to it. Thanks, guys. Cheers.